Rick Santorum is obviously a very religious guy. He uh, touts that all over the place and uh, he reaches out to evangelical Christians, but he's actually Catholic. And uh, the question is, is he Opus Dei? Uh, now, they claim, no, 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 he's not Opus Dei. But when you read the record on uh, Rick Santorum, I think it becomes exceedingly obvious that he is Opus Dei. Now, let me tell you why, okay? Uh, and Washington Post is a very good story on this. First of all, Rick Santorum became a lot more religious after he met a, a priest, Reverend C. John McCloskey, who happens to be Opus Dei. And then with that priest, he wound up traveling to many different places, including in 2002, uh, to celebrate the life of uh, the founder of Opus Dei, uh, which is a guy named Jose uh, Maria Escariva. Uh, and so, and he went as part of a delegation that Rick Santorum said that was part of his official business. He charged it to us. So it was so important to his uh, jobs as a senator at the time that, uh, that he go and celebrate the, what was the 100th birthday of this uh, Opus Dei founder. Of course, now the Opus Dei founder had passed away, but they were honoring him. Uh, now, if you're unclear about how he feels about that founder, well, don't be, because he says over and over again that he is guided by him. In fact, here's the first quote. He said, the blessed Jose Maria guides my way, guides my way. And he says it all the time. So if he's not Opus Dei, he's got a curious way of uh, vocalizing that by keep, when he keeps saying that the Opus Dei founder is the one who guides his way. Okay, um, and then of course it's not just that, uh, it's also the church that he attends in Virginia is one of the few Opus Dei churches. Uh, and they have um, a monthly uh, Opus Dei ritual uh, Rick Santorum attends the version of Mass that's in Latin. Uh, his Secret Service code name he picked was a Latin name, Petrus, right? And, uh, okay, well, not enough, how about this? So when he has to choose his son's education, where does he go? He sends his two sons to an Opus Dei school. <laughs> but no, 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 he's not Opus Dei. He's just surrounded himself with all these Opus Dei people, and he sends his kid to Opus Dei, he goes to a, a church one of the few churches that has Opus Dei. There's only 90,000 Opus Dei in the whole world, and there's only 3,000 Opus Dei in the whole country. But a lot of them are, are in positions of power. And so, uh, now, again, uh, if you're not convinced, he says about Jose Maria, the founder of Opus Dei again, uh, that he is right, that it would be absurd to leave your Catholicism aside if you are conducting politics. He goes on to say, quote, as an American and as a public figure, I am deeply troubled by this turn away from God, which he, where he is basically quoting, again, the founder of Opus Dei. Over and over and over again. How much clearer does it have to be? So I guess he's saying that he's not Opus Dei because it would get him in some political trouble because Opus Dei is super weird. Now, what do they do? Well, they have uh, supernumeraries and just regular old numeraries. The supernumeraries actually, like Rick Santorum, can get married and they don't have to beat themselves. And, but this isn't made up, but the, the numeraries, they do. They wear a, a spike chain around their legs for two hours a day so that they could feel the pain that Jesus Christ felt. Already cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, okay? We're to, like, this is straight out of a Dan Brown novel. And then, uh, and then on top of that, yeah, they beat themselves with the, the, the chains. Uh, because, I mean, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Shia Muslims who uh, beat themselves because they weren't there for their you know, their leader uh, 1400 years ago when he was in a battle. And they're like, oh my God, oh, I wish I was there. Somebody get me a teletransporter time machine, oh. And that's the way these guys are. Oh, Jesus, oh, they'll suffer with you. I mean, look, uh, to a person who isn't a lunatic, that seems really crazy. Uh, what are you, you're beating yourself because, for Jesus? Let me ask you something. Would you send your kids to an Opus Dei school? And then, by the way, the head of that Opus Dei school is a numeraire, and he does. He wears the leg chains, beats himself, et cetera, right? I wouldn't have my kid walk within a mile perimeter of that school, okay? <laughs> Let alone send him to get educated by those guys. Look, the thing is, since he technically won't admit he's Opus Dei, the rest of the media has to pretend that that's the case when all of the evidence points to the contrary. So let me just say, say it for you. Uh, and we do what we always do, which is I present you the evidence, and then we draw the reasonable conclusion, which is, is Rick Santorum Opus Dei? Of course, of course! He says the Opus Dei founder guides his life, 
and guides his political decisions. How much clearer does he have to be? And so, if Rick Santorum becomes president of the United States, two, 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 two. I can get super superstitious too. If he becomes president of the United States, this lunatic is going to take his marching orders from this cultish, weird sect in Catholicism that's beating themselves silly. <laughs> he should be nowhere near the Oval Office. In this case, his insane religion, I think, should be a disqualifier. You know how they always say, oh, well, you, you, know, you have to be Christian nation, you have to be a Jesus candidate, as Rick Santorum said. And so, hence, apparently, if you're not a Christian, you're not a Jesus candidate, in their mind, that eliminates you uh, from uh, consideration. Well, two can play that game. And, uh, it definitely eliminates Rick Santorum from consideration for any reasonable, sane human being. Uh, and he doesn't understand the country. I mean, that's another thing that eliminates him. It's a secular country. It says you shall not establish a relig religion, no matter what Jose Maria Escavera said while he was beating himself to death. Go beat yourself somewhere else.